G'day, just doing a quick video on 4L60. I've got a 4L60 V6 in a supercharged Ute 2002 model. Now I've got his old separator plate there and you can see it's pretty worn where those the balls run there. Over here, over here, over here. Just really hammered it out. The little steel balls don't seal properly in there, so we're going to replace this separator plate on this transmission. But what I've got, I've got the customer mentioned that what happens, the 1-2 shift and the 2-3 shift are nice and firm. The 3-4 shift is a little bit softer than the other two. So what I've done... I'll put number two there. I've marked the little spots where we get pressure to second shift, second, third, and fourth. And I've actually even measured the little port or the hole size in there just with a set of verniers. You can see that's about 55 there, 55 on the fourth, on the second we've got about 75, on the third we've got about 80, not a real accurate way of measuring it but good for a reference point. Now if you have a look, I'll leave a link, this is uh, from the Sonax website, and it's a good reference point. And it shows you actually where all those um, little ports are for, for those gears. And it also over here shows you the original hole size, or the orifice size. And by increasing it, how much percentage wise you've actually opened up the hole. And now what happens, if you go too, too crazy with it, it can be much more aggressive. You can see a 50% increase in the size will, depending on what, what you want to achieve, comfort-wise. And don't also forget that you can make the hole bigger, but it's very hard to make the hole smaller if, you, if you're choosing to do this. So what we had... If you have a look, I've just made a little chart here, top secret chart. The SE, which is the one that we've got. We've got second, which is say 75 thou, 78 thou, and 50 thou. And you can buy these other separator plates, which uh, they have an IPC or an IPM stamped on it. And I've also got a Transco separator plate. We've got the IPC there, the IPM, See over here the stamp, a little bit hard to focus on it. And I've got the Transco 46 to 96. I've fitted quite a few of these in the past, and now our supplier's just got those other ones. That's just another old separator plate. So, what I've gone and done, if you have a look on this chart, if I've, so I've gone through and compared all the holes that are different. We've got the IPC, which is the IPC stamped on the separator plate. Very similar sizes of the holes there. So we, our customer wants the 3-4 shift applying a little bit more firmly. So what I've gone and done, I've drilled the next size hole up. Now yeah, we've got 50 thou, 
And the next size up that I've managed to, uh, the drill bit that I had, was actually 1.5 mil. So that's probably about 58 thou or something around there. So it's probably a 30 to 40 percent increase in the shift. So that's a little bit hard to determine when you test drive the vehicle, but like I mentioned earlier, it's always easier to go up in smaller increments to your finer comfort zone. But the issue is you've got to take the valve body out every time you do that. What I'm doing is I'm going on, you can see the Transgo kit, which is the one I've fitted heaps of. You can see they, go, they actually go up to 82 thou. So from 50 to 82, the IPM, which is just a standard separator plate in a different vehicle, they even go up to 95 thou. But that all works in unison with these holes. And I'll just, just quickly go through those locations there. You can see this hole here. The SE is the vehicle that we've got. 62 thou and then you've got the IPC is the one that we've got now that we're gonna we've already drilled it out 70 thou the IPM and the Transgo 80 thou then over here on our one we've actually got a round hole there the SE is a round hole 255 thou there and I've actually measured you can work out the surface area of the hull, pi r squared, or you can work it out by length by width, and it'll give you the surface area of that port. This one here, the SE we had 100 thou, Transgo have a slightly smaller hull, and we've got 100 and 100 on the other ones that come with the IPM and the IPC. This port here, I've got the SE, which is 85 thou. The IPC, 65. So we might look at sort of uh, tapping that one out just to make it the same as the SE. So from 65 to 85 thou. We'll drill that one out. And if you have a look, the IPM and the trans go 100 thou and 125 thou. And over here, this little hole, we've got the SE was 85, 120 on the IPM, 100 on the IPC. We might look at drilling that one out to 100 thou. Oh, sorry, the IPC is already bigger. 15 thou bigger, so we're not going to touch that one. And the Transco. And this one here, that little hole there. We've got the SE, which is 15 thou. So we're the same on the IPC. You'll notice the Transco, they tap them out to 45 thou. So if you've got a few separator plates, it's not a bad idea to go through and just make a note of shift qualities, uh, what you want to do, trial and error, keep notes, keep reference points, and all of that sort of information, it can come in quite handy. When you're comparing them, you just basically, what I do is I put the two, I've got the IPC, there if you can see it, IPC, that one, and the IPM, and I just place them over the top of each other and you just have to carefully look and inspect which which holes are bigger so there's none bigger there but if you swap it over like this the IPM you'll notice that port there the IPM is a little bit bigger this one here is a little bit bigger on the IPM. This one here is a little bit bigger and so on. So you can't just compare 
it like that without moving it around the other way. Here we go, this one here, uh, missed that one. You can see that one there, I haven't noted that one, but you can see that the IPC is actually bigger than the IPM on that one. So I might go through and just note those hole sizes as well. Anyway, I hope that's confused you even more. <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave any comments or information if, you, if you've got to add to this video that might help us. I'm always happy to, to get in more information or learn new things. Throw us a beer if any of this information has helped. And thank you for watching.